regulation clinic, the uh, blood clinic, to get a regular uh, test for, uh, make sure her blood levels are, are correct for her warfarin. And uh, she's uh, in the vulnerable group, she's been 89 now, and uh, we did try and see if they come and come to the um, to her flat and uh, do the tests there, but they don't do that. The alternative was uh, taking her to a clinic and she'd have to sit in the waiting room, presumably with other people. Now she's uh, not in the best of health anyway and I didn't really want her sitting in a waiting room with other people. And uh, so the only other alternative they gave us was a drive-through clinic. So that's where I'm taking her. And of course the other problem is she's supposed to be in isolation for 12 weeks and she's not supposed to go out. So I thought, well, how do I get, get her to the clinic? I could, we could obviously book a taxi uh, and she could probably go on public transport, but I don't think either of those are actually a good idea either. So I think this is probably the least of the, of the, uh, the well, least or the best of the options or the least worst of the options is I actually take her. Now I've not been in contact, close contact with anyone. Let's get past that bike. I haven't been in close contact with anyone for um, well, about five weeks because this is the fifth week of lockdown now and uh, mum's been effectively locked down for six weeks so neither of us have been in contact with anyone so hopefully you know we're not going to give each other the virus and uh, the idea is we drive to the blood clinic wind down the window and someone does the blood test through the window so I thought it'd be interesting anyway to take you along a day in the life and all that it's not a normal day in the life of course but uh, just some of the things that many of us are having to go through some of the decisions we're having to make. Interesting times, as a Chinese curse says. So this is Southport uh, Lord Street. And I came through here a few weeks back when I was dropping my shopping off. And uh, not much has changed really, it's still quiet. It's still two metre separated queues outside uh, B&M. That's about the only shop that's actually open along here. Oh, it's Sainsbury's. There's a Sainsbury's along here as well. Everything's closed. Apart from that, as you got a bit of traffic as well. Really, you've got to go for your blood test. I know. 
hospital, the only other way is to go to the clinic. Yeah, we don't want you to be sitting in a waiting room. No. It's out. What Going the wrong we? way. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I should leave it in. <laughs> it's more interesting. I'll switch off here. Yeah. Right, well, I've dropped my mum off. Um, she's had a little blood test and uh, medications and remains unchanged, so she's going to carry on the same dose that she's had before, which is good. They'll give, they'll send another appointment, and it sounds like the appointment will be the drive-through again, so that's good news. And uh, just interesting being able to get out for a little drive. We don't get out very much. We've had a, been having our shopping delivered because, uh, again, we've been getting mum's shopping because she's on the at-risk um, list, whatever it is. So we've been, been doing that and I've been taking it over and dropping it off for her. So that's about the only time I've actually been out for a drive. And uh, I think I filled this car up at the beginning of uh, this crisis and the... What are you doing in the middle of the road then? And, uh, it's, uh, the needle's hardly moved. I think I've probably done about 30 miles. The van's done even less miles, so it's, it's not what well, it's gone. It's gone absolutely nowhere. 
interestingly enough, I was reading in the, um, as you do, reading the manual for the uh, motorhome, the Fiat bit, and it, was it the Fiat bit? No, it was actually, no, it was the, the, the Swift bit, and it says what to do for, uh, um, you know, if you have to leave it for a long time, and uh, it, you know, it's saying if you, if you're not connected to an electric hookup to disconnect the batteries, well, I'm connected to a hookup, so that's okay. But the one thing it wasn't saying was uh, to start the engine every so often. And um, the, what I've read is that if you don't run the engine up to uh, a decent temperature and get it properly warm, is that you, you end up leaving condensation, particularly in the exhaust and uh, probably in the cylinders as well. So, you know, you don't really want to be doing that. So I'm hoping, obviously, once the uh, restrictions are lifted, we can take take the van out for a drive. But it's not, you know, it's not doing any harm sitting there. I suppose the, the worry is, obviously, uh, the, sitting on the tyres in the same place. But then the tyres are new, you know, they're, 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 they're particularly strengthened tyres. Um, as long as the tyre pressures are correct, that's the other thing the manual said, make sure the tyre pressures uh, are, are, I think it said to put some extra, extra pounds in them, but, so you know, obviously counteract any effect of it, them slowly deflating. Uh, so hopefully that's, you know, not a particular problem, so, well, I mean, it'd probably be alright for another couple of months or so, just sitting there. The, it's on charge, the batteries are on charge. I've left the heating still on low, as it still get quite cold at night. Um, and I've just stopped talking when I come to roundabouts. I can't talk and navigate roundabouts at the same time. Uh, but yeah, it'll be all right for a, a month or two yet, and hopefully, you know, not too much longer. I mean, we're in the fifth week of of lockdown now. And maybe it'll be another three weeks, who knows. And some countries are oh, gradually opening things up. I don't know when campsites are open. I mean, reading a little bit about the NEC show in October, I think that's looking increasingly uh, unlikely to go ahead. Don't quote me on that, but uh, obviously they've converted a lot of the NEC to uh, a Covid hospital probably need that for some while yet. Um, probably won't. I doubt the, um, the October show will go ahead. We're hoping that we might be able to still do our uh, island trip in September. Um, but uh, we've got a Hebrides trip in July, I think it is. And I think that's probably going to be unlikely because the ferries are not uh, running normal services. We, we have booked a ferry, but um, at the moment the ferry that we've booked is um, not operating, well they're, they're not operating a normal service, they're, a, they're like a, a much reduced service. And that doesn't sort of restart until after our booking. So, uh, See. That's it for now. Uh, I hope this hasn't been too boring. I'm running out of things to uh, to film, to be perfectly honest. And uh, if you've got any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And if I haven't already filmed it, of course. And I'll uh, see what I can do.
closed as soon as it opened. Here's where we get our hair cut, just in there, right on the left. She got a bit of traffic here. Definitely it. So we'll catch up with you soon.